Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited to be bringing you another Sims 3 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can run an active school in The Sims 3. Now you might have seen a previous video that I've made about this same topic, but my methods have changed since then. I've incorporated a couple of new mods and I'm actually going to be making this a three-part video. So there are three videos, I guess, to this topic. Uh, this first one is going to be how I set up my classes and how I just set up the general school. And the next one's going to be after school activities. And then the last one's going to be proms. So it's a very dense topic, which is why I didn't want to put it all in one video because it would be like 40 minutes long and that's a really, really long video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is download the mods that I have linked below. There's three mods that you'll need. The uh, Social Clubs and Online Banking mod, very important. The Zerbu Ultimate Careers mod, very important. And finally, Rabbit Hole Rugs, which is technically optional, but I highly, highly recommend it. So the first step after you've downloaded your mods is to kind of build your school out and decide what you want it to look like. So this is my school, and it will be available for download. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. Um, but this is my school. I have a few different classrooms here. Now, it is important that I note, I am only running an active high school in The Sims 3. I'm not running an elementary school. You could easily do that with the steps that I'm showing you. I've just chosen not to because I don't want too many sims running around this lot and doing stuff, and I think high school is a little more interesting, so that's what I chose to go with. So for me, I have a music room, a computer lab slash library, our cafeteria, obviously you need bathrooms, so I've got two bathrooms. I have a general class where it's just like general education. I have a science room, or like a chemistry lab is kind of what I picture it as, and then I have an arts classroom. So a very important step is whenever you're building your school, if you have the rabbit hole rugs, and oops, I just flipped over to a different lot, but I'll show you it from over here instead. You'll click on schoolhouse rabbit hole, and you're going to want to place that somewhere on your school where there's enough space for people to walk into, because that will give you the functions of the rabbit hole, and it'll also allow the Zerbu Ultimate Careers mod to register that the schoolhouse rabbit hole is somewhere in the world, and it'll allow you to set the lot as a school. If you choose not to use this, you can also just place a rabbit hole in the basement. So if you build a basement underneath the school and then turn move objects on, you can actually place the entire school rabbit hole down there and Sims can go down there and use that and it'll also allow you to use ultimate careers. So once you have ultimate careers in your game, you have your rabbit hole rug placed down or your rabbit hole and you've built your school, you can build that however you like. This is just how I've done my classrooms and everything. You're going to want to click somewhere on the wall and look for your Zerbu option. Um, if you have it installed correctly, it should be popping up right here. And then you're going to click ultimate careers, add career or school. And I'm going to add high school. You can also add elementary school. If you don't add elementary school and just high school, your elementary students will still disappear in your rabbit hole rug. Like, I have my rabbit hole rug in this blacked out room. My, entry, uh, my child sims are going to walk into this room and disappear. And that's the way I prefer it. But if you want to have them also go into the classrooms and do stuff, you can add the elementary school as well. So anyways, we're going to add career or school. And we're going to add high school. Schoolhouse rabbit hole. And now... This is set up for active high school. So at this point, I don't have to do anything else if I just want my sims to come in and interact with stuff randomly. And when it's time to go to school, my sims will automatically come to this lot and they will have active school and they will be able to do whatever interactions they want on the lot and certain interactions will make their performance go up depending on if it's like related to school. However, I have another mod now, the Social Clubs mod that I showed you, that I like to use to set up classes for my Sims. I like to do a general education class that every Sim has to take, and then also elective classes that will allow Sims in high school to pick specific classes to build specific skills into adulthood. So in order to use this Social Club mod, which I've linked down below, uh, you'll have to go to Decor, Miscellaneous Decor, and then you're going to look for this item right here. This is called the... Um, and I have a club set up there, but I'll show you everything in a second. Um, what is it called? Yeah, here we go. Club Scheduler PJ Sims Club Mod. So I already have these placed down, but this is where you would find it. And I like to just place one on each desk where I have a specific class. So like in here, I have a computer class set up. Or I'm going to set up a computer class, so I have one placed on that desk. This is the music class, so I have one placed there. You need one for each different class that you're trying to do. Um... You can't just put one down and then have like 15 clubs attached to it. It has to be for each different class. And I'll explain in a minute. I have two up here for my general education. I'll explain that in a second. It's actually not as weird as it seems. Okay, so once you have everything placed down, you're going to want to have some sims to go to your high school. Like if you're playing in like a town that already is fully populated, you should be good to go. I personally am playing in a town that is not populated at all. So I've made this little lot out here that I just call the NPC lot, where I've made... A crap ton of students, and I've also made teachers. Um, 
So what's important about that is, like, if what you're setting up these clubs, if there's only, like, six teens in the town, the classes, like, what are you going to have one sim in each class, you know? So I like to make NPCs. Basically, I just put a comma NPC as their last name, and I use story progression mods to turn off their aging and everything so that they will not age unless I'm playing as them actively. Like right now, they will age, but if I'm playing as my regular families and I don't include them, they will never age. So I'll always have these teens as teens, and it'll help keep my high school populated. So what you're going to want to do if, um, here, I'll show you. First of all, make sure you have no clubs attached to it already, and you could do that by clicking on Edit Club Reset Scheduler. And it should look like this if you're starting with a clean template. So I'm actually going to start up here in the general class because it's a little bit easier. So first of all, high school is from 9 to 2, so you know your classes need to fit within that 9 to 2 range. Um, unless you want them to stay longer, but uh, whenever high school ends, or whenever the school day ends, they will automatically be pushed off the lot by the Zeru Ultimate Careers mod, so I don't recommend that. So you're going to click on your pencil cup little thing uh, for whatever club you're trying to create and hit Create Club. Um, and then I'm going to do a custom club. So then I'm going to scroll down my list. I already know what sim I want to be the teacher for this specific class, uh, which is just the general class, and that's Mr. Nightcrest. So he's going to be in charge of this, and then I'm going to edit the club. Now, you have this huge, confusing-looking panel. What we're going to be focusing on is uh, open days, open hours, the name of the club, and the activities of the club, and then the member requirements. So we don't have to worry about seasons and everything. My school is open year-round. You could, you could change that if you want, but I don't mess with that. So the first thing we want to do is rename the club to whatever it is. This is just general class. This is just where they do their general learning and everything. And I'm going to put B1, because the way that I'm doing this, I have blocks for my class. So there's two classes a day. Every sim will take two classes a day. And depending on what their elective is, so let's say my art class is going to be B2, that's block 2. They're going to want to take block 1 general class so that the classes don't conflict, the times don't conflict. So I'm going to put B1, and then we're going to go to set open hours. And we're going to do 9 as the start time, hit enter. And then we're going to do 11 as the end time. So from 9 to 11, they're going to be in their general class 1, whoever is in this club. Now, it's important that you also change your open days, because right now it's set to the weekend. So you're just going to click and pick all the weekdays, obviously, because that's when they're in school. Now, the downside to this, and I'm not sure if there's a way around it, not that I have seen at least, is that on holidays, when they're supposed to have school off, they'll still go to their clubs. So they'll still go to these classes and kind of be in school, which doesn't really bother me that much, to be honest. I don't really care if they get the day off for a holiday. So I'm going to hit select and confirm those days. And then we're going to want to go to set activities. Now you could do whatever activities you want in your high school for your classes. Uh, for my general class, my general educa education class, I like to do study with group. I like to do, let's see if I can find it, um, do homework, and then I also like to do read something. So sims that are in this class, they will do their homework together, they will re or they will study together, and then they will also go down to the library and grab books and read autonomously. So that's what anyone that's in uh, this class, from 9 to 11 a.m., those are the activities that they're going to be pushed to do. Now go to edit member requirements as well and set it to teen. So you just click edit member requirements, age requirements, and set it to teen. Otherwise you're going to have adult sims be like, this club looks cool, can I join? And you'll have to hit no constantly. And in here you can also change skill requirements, trait requirements. If you want to have sims with certain traits be allowed to take certain classes, you can do that. I don't mess with that. Um, but yeah, that's really all there is to it. And then I can set the members. Now for me, for my NPC sims, I don't really care if they're like appropriately placed in classes that have to do with their traits or anything like that because they're NPC sims. So I'm just going to do 10 sims because I have 20 NPC sims in this first class and these 10 sims will then be in block 2 electives. So I don't know if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, we need one more. 10. So I know Gary Hip is the last one that's in the first class. So what I mean by block one and block two, block one is nine to 11, block two will be 12 to two. So some of the elective classes, like our class, like I explained earlier, might be from 12 to two. So any sim that's going to be in one of those classes needs to take block one for their general class because everyone has to take a general class in the way that I run my school. So I'm going to confirm these sims. I've got 10 sims here and yeah. That's really all there is to setting this up. It's quite easy. Other than you have to hit open after you're done with everything. So I'm going to hit open and I'm going to then confirm it. 
So it will tell you all your information, general class B1, 9 to 11, open days, and then dress code is just every day. So that's the first one. And then we have to make general class B2, which is going to be pretty much all the same crap, except uh, that I'm going to put the other 10 sims that I didn't use yet in here, if that makes sense. So we're going to go back to rename club, general class B2. And I like to throw the B2 in there so I can keep things a lot more organized. We're going to uh, set activities again, and it's going to be the same activities, so it's just going to... Where is that? Do homework. Um, read something, and study with group. Boom. And then we're going to set our hours again, and this time it's going to be 12 to 2, which is... It's in 24-hour time, so make sure you're not putting in the wrong numbers. We're going to set our open days. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick my members. So I know that uh, Gary Hip was the last one that I put in, so I'll start here. One, two, three. Uh, let me not put the teachers in here on accident. Damn, there's a lot of teachers. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, I threw someone in there that shouldn't be in there. Oh, here we go. I figured out, guys. I put the teacher in there. We want Wyatt. Um, yes, I named these sims some crazy stuff, so you, <laughs> they got some odd names. Um, but yes, yeah, so now these are the 10 sims that are going to be having their general class in the afternoon, which means they're going to take morning class electives. Okay, once you've accepted that, you have your general classes set up. The only way that you can see your club members, if you get confused and you don't remember what time someone's taking a certain class, is by clicking on it and clicking see club members. There's not like an easier interface, and then you'll just have to look through the names. But I already know who is doing what. So my classes on the top floor, I like to make block two classes, just to make it more simple. And this is going to be the science club. So I'm going to find the teacher that I've made for my science, or not science club, science class. Um, technically it's a club, but let's see if I can find her. Miss Norville, she is the science teacher. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go to edit club again. And this time, um, I'm going to do research science. So sims are going to research science if they're in this class. Uh, and this is going to be a block two class. Oops, not make open invite. Close that. <laughs> Otherwise, people are going to be coming in from all different places. So science class, and that's block two as well. Um, and you could technically have, like, if you have a ton of sims, you could have as many classes as you want. I don't have that many sims, so I'm keeping it a little more limited. And this is once again going to be a 12 to 2 class, because that's block two. So we're going to set our open days, because they always default to the weekend. And then we're going to set our members. So I'm going to do five sims in each of the elective electives of my NPCs, because I have 20 sims and I have four elective classes. So I'm just going to click the first five that I see. Uh, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> okay, sorry. So we know that the last sim that was put into this class is diarrhea. <laughs> so, <laughs> diarrhea. So uh, I know that's where I left off when I do the other classes. Sorry, I forgot some of the names that I chose for these sims. So that is who is in the science class. And then we're going to do the art class next. Okay, so for art class, you're just going to do create club, custom club once again. And I'm going to pick the sim that I have set to be my art teacher, which is Mrs. Carini. And then I'm going to edit club once again. And there's a lot of different activities. So like I said, be creative with the classes that you want to make. Um, I just went pretty generic with it because... I don't have time for all that. So we're going to do... Where's paint? Paint, paint, paint. Where art thou? There it is. Paint. And then we're going to do sculpt. Unfortunately, they don't have sketching in here. I did put sketchbooks, and it looks like Sims already snatched them up because some of them are missing. Uh, so they will steal. They will take stuff and put it in their inventory, and you'll never see it again. So keep that in mind. Once again, I'm going to do 12 to 14 because I have a one-hour block. Like So my block is 9 to 11, and then they have a one-hour break if they want to go eat or use the bathroom. And then it is 12 to 2. And that take literally, they only have 5 hours school day in The Sims 3. It's ridiculously short. So once again, change your open days. And it's, this is pretty repetitive, the setup. But then once everything is set up, you're good to go. And it's easier to add new members in. And I'm realizing I forgot to change the uh, membership requirements for some of the other classes that I did. And I'll change that off screen. But make sure you're adding it so that only teens can join. Otherwise, you're going to have Sims be like, can I join this club? And they're like an elder. No, you can't. You can't be an art class. All right, and I'm just going to set my members. So I know that I left off with Diarrhea. So I know she has a block two class already. So we're going to start with David Womp, Devin Shavinsky, Emily Bumberfrump, Eric Anderson, and then Gary Hip. Um, once again. And now we have these two classes finished. 
accept, and then I just go downstairs and I'm going to do the same for my other classes. So I'm going to find the teacher for my music class, and he is Mr. Where are you, Mr. Mr. Glump? <laughs> and I'm going to just edit the club. And now that this is the block one class, since I have two block two electives and two block one electives, so this is the music class, and I just put a B1. That makes it easier when you have teens joining the classes, like if you have a child age up into a teen and you need to pick your classes. It makes it easier to see B1, B2, so you know you need one of each. Since this is B1, we're going to do 9 to 11 again, like we did for the general class. Once again, set your days, and then we're going to set the uh, age requirement to teen again. And then I'm going to set my activities, which is just going to be playing all the different instruments. So, where is it? Play, practice bass guitar, practice drums, practice guitar, and then practice keyboard. So that is what the sims that are in their music class will do. I'm going to set my members, and I know that I left off with Gary Hip, so I'm going to do... Johnny, Leslie, Lucas, skip all these teachers, Rachel, Samantha, and there we go. We have our music class. Now I just need to do my computer class. I'm going to create club, custom club. I'm going to look for Mr. Humphrey because he's my computer teacher. Uh, there he is. And once again, I'm going to edit the club. It's going to be, it's going to be computer class B1. And then we're going to go to set the activities. And I just have them practice writing because that's what gets them on the computer and actually gives them um, school performance as well. Otherwise, they ain't going to get no performance. So, And then we're going to do 9 to 11 as the hours. Once again, make sure we change the days. Make sure you do the age requirement. And then we're going to set the members. So we just have five more sims we need to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And there we go. All of my NPC teens have now been placed in their classes. And this will just make it so that whenever I have my playable sims join classes, there's actually other sims there. And it's not just like an empty school. Now, one thing I'm realizing I forgot is to actually go in and open all of these. So basically, you'll just click on this whenever you're done setting everything up to make sure that it's open. Otherwise, it's not going to call sims to do these things because the club is technically not active. So now we should be good once I open all of these. Okay, so now that you have your clubs set up, hopefully, or your classes set up using the clubs, you want to make sure that you put this board that comes with the mod, club board, somewhere in the school. And I like to put it just in the cafeteria. This way, when you have new sims, or new teen sims, they can easily just come to this board, check the board, and then pick their classes from that. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. And before I show you the uh, final, you know, setup for my school and how everything goes and show you what the school day looks like, I want to remind you guys that if you have Into the Future, you can put these food synthesiz synthesizers down and you can use NROS Register if you have that mod, which I'll link down below, to go here and go to Register and you can actually uh, select a sim for the assignment and you could have NPCs like the ones that I made here. Um, or you could just have generic sims get spawned in too, that works as well. But you could choose your waiters, or you could have waiters spawn in. And that'll allow you to easily, uh, if you have a sim that wants to have lunch during their break, you just order whatever. I mean, it's really expensive, that's the only downside. But you can order stuff, and you can kind of have the cafeteria be that way. Okay, so one final run-through about everything that you needed to do in order to get to this point and get ready to start your school day. You need to make sure that you have Zerbu Ultimate Careers installed. You need to make sure that you placed a rabbit hole rug or a rabbit hole somewhere on your lot. You need to make sure that you've clicked on the wall, gone to Zerbu, Ultimate Careers, Add Career School, and then added the high school or elementary school if you also want that. Also the, ele or the education career if you want to have a, your sim play as a teacher. And then you need to make sure that you put enough of these little club marker things down and made your classes for whatever you want. And that you filled them with sims or... um. If you don't want to fill them with sims or whatever you want to do and you just want to have your specific sims do that, you can do that as well. Uh, any teens that come to the lot by Zerbu Ultimate Careers that aren't being played and aren't in clubs will still run around and interact with stuff. I like to do it this way so it seems a little more organized and a little like more like a school day. But you could technically just have your playable sims enter the clubs and not worry about non-playables. You want to make sure you have this cork board down that comes with the mod as well so that any new teen sims that age up can come over here and easily choose their classes as your town goes further and further. And you want to make sure that you've opened all your clubs, so don't make that mistake that I made and forget to open them. Once you've done all that, you should be ready to start your school day. Right now it's Sunday at 5 a.m., but I will get with you uh, on Monday morning when it's about time. All right, guys, so right now it's only 10 a.m. on a Sunday, but I have two teens here that I'm going to test this out with and show you how it kind of works. Um, and we want to get them signed up for their classes before school starts because if you join one of these clubs before the time, 
or after it starts already, you will not be attending the first sort of day of classes. So I'm going to actually just bring them, the two teens over here. It's Devin and Casey. All right, I'm having her check the board. Hopefully I'll actually know who's doing it this time. So there's a little animation that plays. Okay. Now for her, I think that she would do probably the computer class. That's block one. I'm going to have her sign up for that. And then she'll have to do general class block two because she's doing block one computer class. You could technically have them do whatever you want. Like, it's up to you. You don't have to have, like, a general class. I like that because it's a little more realistic since not everybody does electives all day when they're in high school. You, you kind of have to have, like, your base classes. So I'm just going to do a general class block two. And she is done. She is signed up for her classes. And she is good to go. Now I'm going to have Casey come over here and check the board as well. And we'll have her do general class block one, and we'll have her do science class block two. So she has picked her classes as well, and she is ready to go. Y'all, this is super random, but I just got sidetracked. Look at the shine on the CC hair that I have, by the way. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that. See how shiny that is? Ooh, I really like that. It's very slick looking. All right, y'all, while I'm waiting for it to turn Monday morning so that we can go to our first school day, I wanted to talk about the fact that I am starting a Discord server. And I'm really, really excited about that. And one of the big benefits of joining my Discord server is that I'm going to be posting links to all of my builds as I build uh, on my Discord server. There will be a little specific channel for that. So including the school that I am showcasing in this video, once I have everything finished up and package up the file, it is going to be posted there. This house right here is going to be posted there, as well as a couple of other things that I've already posted, but the links are kind of scattered all across my channel. So that's something to keep in mind. If you want any of my builds, join my Discord server and they will be there. And I really just plan to use it to kind of engage with everybody and see what ideas people might have for future videos or content they want to see as well as like updates on my channel and stuff like that. All right guys, so it is now 7:12 a.m. and we are getting pop-ups in the or the top corner. Casey Montague has general class B1 today at 9 a.m. and Devin Montague has computer class B1 today at 9 a.m. and the school bus will arrive at 9 8 a.m. So the thing about this mod is the school bus actually will not arrive because they're going to walk to the schools themselves for active school. So I'll show you what that looks like. They should be leaving around 8 a.m. is when I think they leave to go to school. Yes. So at 8 a.m. they will get the go to lot interaction up there and that's just them going to the lot. They are not going to take the school bus. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, my elementary students will still take the school bus because they still go to rabbit hole school. But they're going to take a taxi instead because that makes... It makes no sense, I know, but it's just the way it is. All right, y'all, and here we are. You can see that she has practice writing up in her top corner. That is the uh, activity that I chose for computer class. So automatically, the club is going to push her to do her class activity, and other teen sims that come to school will also be pushed to do their class activities. Like, as you can see, uh, Tracy Lamont is immediately going to music class, as well as a few other sims. Now, the Sims are not always going to perfectly go and do what they're supposed to do, because this is the Sims. Sometimes they'll get stuck, sometimes they'll go watch someone else perform, but for the most part, they will go and do what they need to do. As you can see, Sims are already coming into computer class. The other thing is, if you're building a school, this is one thing I regret. Try not to have a narrow staircase type of deal. <laughs> they have multiple stairs, because you will get stuck, or your Sims will get stuck. So Casey's in general class, and she's kind of just talking with someone now. She's supposed to be reading and doing her homework, but I found with general class specifically, they are less likely to do what they're supposed to be doing. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Now the great thing about this, the Zerbu Ultimate Careers mod, is there's a handful of interactions. And you can go to the mod page and look at the documents provided, and it'll tell you what interactions improve school performance. So because she is practice writing, or practicing writing, and she's being pushed to do that by the class that she's in, the club that I created, her performance is actually increasing as well because that is a supported interaction with the Zerbu Ultimate Careers mod for improving uh, high school performance. And I really like this because Sims are going to go into adulthood with specific skills depending on their interests. And it's, I don't know, it just feels really cool and it feels like a better way of doing schools in The Sims. Like I said though, Sims don't always go to their classes, so sometimes you have Sims just stuck over here. Uh, but really... For the most part, it does work well. Let's see what Casey is being pulled to do. Right now, she's going up here to sit. Not too sure why she is doing that. We'll see. Um, yeah, she didn't really do anything. She just kind of sat. Sometimes you'll get pop-ups like this. I really don't know what that's about, but usually it doesn't affect anything. Um, it hasn't in my experience, at least. They still act normal. So you do get pop-ups with this mod a little bit. 
Um, I have had a glitch occasionally where after 11 o'clock, some of the Sims will automatically leave the lot, but they'll come back for their 12 o'clock class, so it's a little weird. They'll kind of like get in their car, do a spin around, then come back. But for the most part, it doesn't affect them actually getting stuff done and like being productive. Yeah, she's trying to study with. That's what's going on here. Um, so maybe don't use study with, maybe just use do homework and read something, because I think the study with interaction is what's making my general classes a little janky, because they're all trying to, like, find chairs to sit in. Um, so I think that's one thing that I can, I'm just now learning, is do not use study with interaction. And then you'll see, uh, they'll try to go to lot, which is just going to this lot again, because their next class is technically on this lot as well, but that's what the club mod does. It kind of makes you go to the lot. So I just exit that out, and they stay here. And she has until noon, so I'm going to have her go ahead and order something really quick. Um, and, of course, she's going to order it over here in this computer chair. But it is what it is. Tracy Lamont NPC is about to read Field of Sims. I don't really know what that's popping up for. <laughs> I guess a sim was reading a book, and the game was like, you need to know. So she's in her general class now. I'm just let her eat. Girl, eat that food. She ran away from that shit. Eat those organic pudding cakes, please. Okay, yeah, she's getting pushed to do her stuff, so she's just gonna starve, I guess. And as you can see, she is in her science class, so she's researching science. Like I said, it's a little chaotic. I don't think there's any way to really run a school in The Sims 3 without it being chaos. But it does provide at least some structure. At the very least, you have a pop-up in the top corner telling you what class your Sim is supposed to be in. So you can kind of go from there if you want to just push them to do stuff. Um... But yeah, as you can see, it works pretty well, actually. Their, or their school performance is going up, uh, so you can definitely still get good grades using this mod as long as you are diligent about getting stuff done. And you can see Sims in their art class. Isn't that cute, y'all? Look at them sculpting. I love that. I really do. So I think that's really, really cool. But yeah, some learn from my mistakes, y'all. Put multiple staircases. Put multiple doorways to each room. Make your school a little bit less narrow because Sims are not the smartest with routing. And also do not use the study with group interaction uh, for your classes because it just does not work very well. Uh, so I would highly recommend you don't use that uh, because as you can see, it's not working too well for me. I think if you just did read something and do homework, that would work a lot better. I'm also going to go ahead and assume you can't use these picnic tables in a cafeteria if you want to use the waiters. Because it doesn't seem to, like, I don't seem to have any option to order food unless I click on these tables. So that's another thing that I've learned. And learn from my mistakes on that too, y'all. Don't use these picnic tables because they do not work. You need to put actual tables. I'll fix that uh, a little bit later. But yeah, this is a great way to run an active school. You could also, like I said, add elementary schools if you'd like to. Um, you just have to be mindful of only using interactions that children can use because children are a little more limited. Uh, there are mods and stuff, though, however, that will allow Sims or children Sim to play like instruments and stuff. I just prefer to have my high school and let this children be a rabbit hole because I'm just not interested in having that much chaos, you know? It's already chaotic enough, as you can see, uh, Sims be doing the most. And, oh yeah, also, as you can see, class is over, so the Sims are automatically going to leave now that 2 p.m. has hit. So, usually, it'll push all the Sims off the lot. Sometimes, Sims will get, like, stuck, and then they'll drop the interaction, and they'll just be at the school after hours, which doesn't bother me too much, because you can send your playables home, and other Sims, whatever. They're gonna do what they want to do, you know what I mean? But, for the most part, it functions pretty well. It gets Sims into the school, gets them doing their activities, and then gets them out of the school. But yeah, that is the general tutorial on how you can run a day-to-day -day school system in The Sims 3 using just a couple mods. It works really, really well. I think it's really, really cool, and um, yeah, I love it. And keep your eyes peeled, guys, because like I said, I have two other videos. One is going to be how I do after-school activities, which you can kind of see already. is popping up in the corner, soccer, soccer practice. And um, the next one is going to be how I do an active prom. So that is really, really interesting. I think a lot of people are interested in that one specifically. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or concerns, you can let me know in the comments below. Uh, I hope everything works well, though. I hope I explained it well enough, because I know it is a little more confusing than just the last tutorial where you just set it up real quick and then you're good to go. Like I said, guys, you can join my Discord if you want to be able to get the download links to these builds. I'm going to be posting this school, and then I have a few other things that are already posted, and I'll put the links on my discord as well to make them easier to access because right now they're kind of spread out across videos and like they're not easy to find so that is something that i'm going to be doing in my discord server so you guys can go ahead and join with the link below and i hope to see you there anyways guys that is going to be the end of the video thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day